Karate Cut and fellow martial artists, welcome back to Ishizu Way Karate. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make a DIY double end ball. The only things you're going to need to get this project going are tennis balls, a box cutter, some paracord, bungee cords, and Parental vision if you're uh, if you're a young kid. So let's go ahead and get this started. Alrighty. So to begin, we're going to need a tennis ball and the box cutter. Remember, if you are a young child, you need parental vision before you get started. So let your parent use the box cutter and make the holes for you. Now what we're going to do is we're going to find a side. I like to go where the semicircles are and make a hole. Now, you're going to pick where you want. You can either do it here and here or here and here. It's personal preference and up to you. I'm going to make a slit right here. So just poke it in very slowly. Good. And then, awesome. See, small cut. I'm just going to widen it just a little bit for the job that we're going to be using it for. Now I'm going to go, now that I made one cut this way, I'm going to make a smaller cut this way to make a small X. And you'll see why when we get done. All right, so now we got both X-shaped holes on each side of the tennis ball. We're gonna go ahead and put this away for a second and we're going to get some paracord. Now, I already cut my paracord. We're gonna need the tennis ball again and a screwdriver. I forgot to mention, we're gonna need a screwdriver. It can be a flathead or a Phillips up to you and this is going to help us get the ball the the string through the ball now cool trick instead of trying to force it in there and then try to mess around and push it through the other side we're going to take the cord we're going to go over the top of the screwdriver like this pull it down nice and tight that way when we grab it, the string stays nice and tight on top of the, uh, the point of the screwdriver. Find the X, we're gonna push it through, out the other side. And then from here, we're just gonna grab onto one end of the string of the cord, start pulling it through. And then we can safely pull out the screwdriver. There we go. That's one. Now go ahead and use your other half and do the same thing again. All right, so now your tennis ball should look like mine. Two pieces of paracord on each side. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna take one of the cords and I want you to give it a little tug to find the one that moves. So luckily I had the one in my hand that's connected to this end. So we're gonna get it as even as we can on both sides. If it's not perfect, it's fine because we're gonna be cutting off the excess anyway. All I'm gonna do now is I'm just going to do a simple square knot. So I'm gonna make an X, go under and through, pull it tight, and now I'm gonna do it again. Make an X under and through. Now, there should be a little bit of give because we wanna be able 
to fit a hook under you know, at the end. So go ahead and make it tie up your knot if you need to. Make a third knot, go for it, just to be extra safe. Give it a good pull. Now I'm gonna take the box cutter. I'm gonna cut off these ends here real quick. All right, now it should look like something like this. Now, if it's not pretty like mine, it's not pretty at all. It's completely fine. So we're going to hide that. But first, let's go ahead and get the other side done. All right. So this is what your tennis ball should look like. You should have a piece of cord on each side of the ball. Make sure they're not together or too close. You want them on each half of the ball. Now we're going to hide these cords. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull on one side and start sliding it around. And now we're going to take that screwdriver again, put it onto the knot, and we're going to push it into the hole. Now, be careful not to push too hard and poke your hand. So, if you need to, have an adult or hold it like this and go straight down, which I might do off camera. That way I don't poke myself. All right, there's one knot hidden away. It's pretty hard to get in, but that just means it's gonna be even harder for it to try to come back out. So let's go ahead and get this second knot into the ball. Same thing, hold it like so, use your screwdriver to move it over and push it into the hole. And now that the second knot is gone inside the ball, this is your finished product. Now all you need to do is grab one of your uh, jumper cords, place it into the string, then grab the other one on that side, hang it up somewhere, and you're finished. So let's go ahead to the basement and hang this up. All right, so I got one of my cords wrapped around two dumbbells, going up and attaching to the ball. And then the other one, because it's very long and I have a short ceiling basement, got it wrapped around a hook. Now let's go ahead and try it out. So there you go guys, that's the DIY double end ball. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the build. Hopefully you guys make it. Hopefully you guys keep training at home during this mandatory vacation. And keep your guys' eyes out for the next video. We'll see you guys then. We'll see.